Top 20 Oldest Senators in Philippines History These honorable senators chose to serve the country besides their old age. On number 20 is incumbent Senator Ponfilo Loxon. He was born on June 1, 1948, is a Filipino politician and former police general serving as a senator since 2016, and previously from 2001 to 2013. He was the Director General of the Philippine National Police, PNP, from 1999 to 2001. He was popularly known on his campaigns on anti-kidnapping and no-take policy, anti-wetang campaign and elimination of Kotaong culture in PNP. As of this writing, he is 73 years, 5 months, 20 days old and still serving the country as senator. On number 19 is former Senator Vicente Madrigal. He was born on April 5, 1880, was a successful Spanish-Filipino business tycoon, industrialist and politician. At the height of his wealth, from the 1950s to his death in the early 1970s, his portfolio was estimated to be $850 million American dollars, which would translate to more than $9 billion American dollars today. Senator Madrigal, was 73 years, 5 months. 25 days on his last day at the Senate on December 30, 1953. He died on June 6, 1972 at his home in New Manila, Quezon City at the age of 92. Dot on number 18 is former Senator Rodolfo Bezon. He was born on April 14, 1935, is a politician in the Philippines. He was elected senator in the 1992 election for a term of three years. He was elected to his first six-year term in the 1998 election, and was re-elected in the 2004 election. He served as the representative for the Lone District of Muntin Lupa from 2010 to 2016. Senator Bayazan, was 75 years, 2 months, 16 days on his last day at the Senate on June 30, 2010. On number 17 is former Senator Blas Ople. He was born on February 3, 1927, was a Filipino journalist and politician who held several high-ranking positions in the executive and legislative branches of the Philippine government, including as Senate President from 1999 to 2000, and as Secretary of Foreign Affairs from 2002 until his death. Ople's most enduring role was his 19 years as Secretary, later Minister, of Labor and Employment during the administration of President Ferdinand Marcos, when Philippine labor laws were overhauled through the enactment of the Labor Code of the Philippines that he had helped author. Senator Ople, was the 21st Senate President. He was 75 years, 5 months, 13 days on his last day at the Senate on July 16, 2002. He died on December 14, 2003, due to heart attack while on board on plane. He died at the age of 76. On number 16 is former Senator Neptali Gonzalez. He was born on January 1, 1923, in recognition of his strong adherence to family values. He was presented with the 1994 ASEAN Father for Public Service Award and the 1996 AMA Ng Bayan Award. He authored books on constitutional law, political law, administrative law, and public corporations. Senator Gonzalez, is the only senator seated three times as Senate President, he was the 13th, 14th and 15th Senate President. He was 75 years, 5 months, 29 days on his last day at the Senate on June 30, 1998. He died on September 16, 2001, at the age of 78. On number 15 is former Senator Alho. Mabinag. He was born on April 14, 1886, was a Filipino politician born in San Fernando, La Union, who served as a senator of the Philippines from 1946 to 1949 and 1953 to 1959. Senator Mabinag, was 75 years, 8 months, 16 days on his last day at the Senate on December 30, 1961. On number 14 is incumbent Senator Franklin Drillon. He was born on November 28, 1945, is a Filipino politician, he served as Secretary of Labor and Employment, Secretary of Justice, and Executive Secretary in the administration of President Corazon Aquino. He became Secretary of Justice again during the administration of President Fidel V. Ramos. Senator Drillon, was the 18th Senate President. As of this writing, 
he is 75 years, 11 months, and 27 days old and still serving the country as senator. On number 13 is former Senator Mariano Jesus Cuenco. He was born on January 16, 1888, was a Filipino Cebuano politician and writer. Cuenco was also known as a prolific writer. He was the publisher of the Spanish language newspaper El Precursor of Cebu, a newspaper which ran from 1907 until the eve of World War II. In 1947, he founded the Republic. In 1926, Senator Cuenco was the fourth Senate president. He was 76 years, 1 month, 19 days on his last day at the Senate on February 25, 1964. He died while he was still a senator on February 25, 1964 at the age of 76. On number 12 is incumbent Senator Richard Gordon. He was born on August 5, 1945, is a Filipino lawyer and politician serving as a senator since 2016 and previously from 2004 to 2010. He is also the chairman and chief executive officer of the Philippine Red Cross since 2004. He rose to national prominence in the wake of the removal of the U.S. naval base when he became the founding chairman of the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority from 1992 to 1998. And when he conceptualized the successful WOW Philippines campaign as Secretary of Tourism from 2001 to 2004. He was also the mayor of Olwengapo from 1980 to 1986 and 1988 to 1993, and the youngest delegate to the 1971 Constitutional Convention. As of this writing, he is 76 years, 3 months, 20 days old and still serving the country as senator. On number 11 is former Senator Aquilino Pimentel Jr. He was born on December 11, 1933, commonly known as Nene Pimentel was a Filipino politician and human rights lawyer too, who was one of the leading political opposition leaders during the regime of Ferdinand Marcos from the Declaration of Martial Law in 1972 until the People Power Revolution in 1986, which removed Marcos from power. He served as the President of the Senate of the Philippines from 2000 to 2001. Senator Pimentel, was the 19th Senate President. He was 76 years, 6 months, 19 days on his last day at the Senate on June 30, 2010. He died on October 20, 2019, due to complications from lymphoma, at the age of 85. On number 10 is former Senator Loy Ejercito. She was born on June 2, 2030, is a Filipino politician and psychiatrist who served as a senator of the Philippines from 2001 to 2007. She is the wife of former Philippine President Joseph Ejercito Estrada. She was 77 years, 28 days on her last day at the Senate on June 30, 2007. On number 9 is former Senator Quentin Paredes. He was born on September 9, 1884, was a Filipino lawyer, politician, and statesman. He served the Senate in the year 1949-1961. Senator Paredes, was the fifth Senate president. He was 77 years, 3 months, 21 days on his last day at the Senate on December 30, 1961. He died on Jan 30, 1973, at the age of 88. On number 8 is former Senator Ramon Revilla Sr. He was born on March 28, 1927, was a Filipino actor who served as Senator of the Republic of the Philippines. He is known as the Hariang Ajamat, literally King of Amulets, in Philippine films. He was 77 years, 3 months, 22 days on his last day at the Senate on June 30, 2004. He died on June 26, 2020, of heart failure at the age of 93. On number 7 is former Senator Alfredo Lim. He was born on December 21, 1929 was a Filipino politician and police officer who served as a senator of the Philippines from 2004 to 2007. He also served as the mayor of Manila twice, first from 1992 to 1998, and again from 2007 to 2013. He was 77 years, 6 months, 9 days on his last day at the Senate on June 30, 2007. He died on August 8, 2020, of COVID-19 at the age of 90.
On number 6 is former Senator Edgardo Angara. He was born on September 24, 1934, was a Filipino politician who served as the President of the Senate of the Philippines from 1993 to 1995. He served as Secretary of Agriculture from 1999 to 2001. He also previously served as the President of the University of the Philippines. He served the Senate in the year 1987 to 1998, and in the year 2001 to 2013. Senator Angara, was the 16th Senate President. He was 78 years, 9 months, 6 days on his last day at the Senate on January 30, 2013. He died on May 13, 2018, of heart attack at the age of 83. On number 5 is former Senator Camilo Osius. He was born on March 23, 1889, was a Filipino politician, twice for a short time President of the Senate of the Philippines, and Osius became Chairman of the National Council of Education in 1941, and President of Philippine National University. He served the Senate in the year 1925 to 1929, 1947 to 1953 and in the year 1961 to 1967. Senator Osius, was the 6th and 8th Senate President. He was 78 years, 9 months, 7 days on his last day at the Senate on December 30, 1967. He died on May 20, 1976 in Mandaluyong, Rizal, Philippines, at the age of 87. On number 4 is former Senator Ulogio Amang Rodriguez Sr. He was born on January 21, 1883, was a Filipino politician, twice served as President of the Senate of the Philippines, he left us with several legacy, Amang Rodriguez Memorial Medical Center, a private hospital in Marikina, was named after him. Ulogio Amang Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology was established in 1945 was named after him. He served the Senate in the year 1945 to 1947, and in the year 1949 to 1964. Senator Rodriguez, was the 7th and 10th Senate President. He was 81 years, 10 months, 28 days on his last day at the Senate on December 30, 1964. He died on December 19, 1964 in Pasay, Philippines, at the age of 81. On number 3 is former Senator Arturo Tolentino. He was born on September 19, 1910. He was a Filipino politician and diplomat who served as the Senate President and the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. He is also regarded as the father of the Philippine Archipelagic Doctrine and as an expert on the law of the sea. He served the Senate in the year 1957 to 1972, and in the year 1992 to 1995. Senator Tolentino, was the 12th Senate President. He was 84 year, 9 months, 11 days on his last day at the Senate on June 30, 1995. He died of a heart attack on the night of August 2, 2004, at the age of 93. On number 2 is former Senator Joe Carroyo. He was born on January 5, 1927, was a Filipino statesman and key figure in the 1986 Edsa People Power Revolution which ousted dictator Ferdinand Marcos. He was a congressman for Makati from 1992 to 2001 and senator from 2001 to 2013. Arroyo received various awards and commendations for his significant contributions to the law profession and public service. Among these are the Philippine Bar Association's most distinguished award for justice as a man beholden to no one except to his country and Senate Resolution No. 100 enacted in the 8th Congress citing his invaluable service to the Filipino people. He was 86 years, 5 months, 3 days on his last day at the Senate on June 30, 2013. Senator Arroyo died on October 5, 2015, in San Francisco, California after an unsuccessful heart surgery. He was 88. On number 1 is former Juan Ponce Enrile. He was born on February 14, 1925, and Real was a protege of President Ferdinand Marcos, and served as Justice Secretary and Defense Minister during the Marcos administration. And Real and General Fidel Ramos, along several other military officers, withdrew their support for Marcos in February 1986. This was one of the key moments of the 1986 People Power Revolution which drove Marcos out of power and into exile. Enrile has continued to be a prominent politician since then, 
He was Senate President from November 2008 until his resignation on June 5, 2013. He was 92 years, 4 months, 6 days on his last day at the Senate on June 30, 2016. For more informational videos please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.